Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast episode 714. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinstein. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hey. Welcome guys, welcome listeners, viewers. We are live right now on Twitch. Tuesday nights. Mm -hmm. I just got notified. You know how I got notified, guys? Because I subscribe. Uh, that way you get notified. And if you miss these live broadcasts, uh, all the contents over on YouTube, be sure to subscribe there so you get notified when we post over there too. So, guys, it's uh, getting in September here, going in the, getting to the fall. We got some uh, interesting news bits to talk about. But first, what have we been watching? Corey, kick us off. Uh, well, actually, not too much. This uh, weekend went um, visit Tony in the Poconos area. We got to go to a con and just kind of did that kind of oh, thing. Oh, cool. How'd the con go? Yeah, yeah it's good. Nice. It's always fun. It's always a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So, yeah, nothing of a significance. Right. Tony, anything for you then? Yeah, let's see. I watched, um, finish off the rest of Terminator Zero, uh, which was pretty good. Oh, yeah. How, how was it? It's pretty good. I mean, yeah, probably the best Terminator thing since two. I mean, it's not like a high high I mean, bar. But... I was gonna say, I was gonna say it's bold, but I'm like, that's not bold. <laughs> uh, well, it is yeah. interesting just because they do tackle a couple different. Um, what I want to say, um, you know, like criticisms of Terminator, right? Because like, you know, the whole like loophole, right? Where it's you know, it's like, how does John Connor send? You know, spoiler. Sorry for like a 30 year old movie but it's like how does john connor send his dad back in time like you know it's like how does that happen the first time right and stuff like that yeah. so i kind of addressed like because obviously since terminator was out multiverse and uh, time travel kind of stuff have become more prominent in other forms of media so they addressed that which is kind of neat um and interesting they lead into the ai a lot yes sure. they do <laughs> uh, so it's definitely a thing of like, huh, hmm, interesting. I guess we are pretty close to Skynet, um, mm -hmm. you know, just under the guise of Chat yeah. GPT right now. So um, I'm I'm rolling that stuff out where I work. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I always say things right around the corner. And that's a big feature of there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'd recommend it if you like Terminator. Uh, it's only eight episodes, so it's not like a mm -hmm. huge commitment that's, either. That's cool. you can break How it. long? Thirty minutes? Yeah, like well, twenty something. Twenty, yeah. Twenty or thirty in that range okay uh and then let's see uh i also watched justice league crisis on infinite earth part oh. one or whatever yeah, sorry it's part one that movie was shit yeah i, I know i didn't get down to part two the whole time i'm like what are we even doing right now like it's just ping pong the flash between different universes I and, thought maybe I missed something. Mm -hmm. That's why I couldn't figure out. It doesn't form like a coherent story at all. No. And like anything well, that, that would be interesting, like, you know, hey, wow, this is the world where the Justice League are evil. They don't even spend any time there. It's just like, oh, okay. So, I don't know. I thought the movie was garbage. I didn't like the art either. I didn't like the artwork. I no, the art is horrible. Like, yeah. we live in a world now where <laughs> even DC Animated, which did have the edge over Mar Marvel Animation... Totally gone. Totally gone. Yeah. Just. No, I, I agree. I I watched that a while back because, you know, Kevin Conroy has his last work in part three. But I'm like, I can't make it. I, I'm sorry, man. I might just, I watched the clip of it and that's it. So I'm like, you know, it's it sucks, but. That's all you need. Yeah. But I mean, supposedly this is I rebooting the, I don't know what I want to watch. Yeah. the animation universe, which I'm like, why? Didn't you do this 10 years ago? Like, why are we, why do you keep doing this? Yeah. The Flashpoint Paradox or whatever it was. It was just like, it was garbage. Yeah, my buddy watched it and he said, he watched the first one and he hate watched the next two and it's like, he was very sad about it. It's and just... He's not, a, he's not a DC fan either. He's just like, oh, something to watch with his kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, it's like, what are they doing? Like you said, what are they doing here? Is this supposed to be good? Like, <laughs> It's not. And I, I honestly, you know, <laughs> just a rant a little bit. I don't know why we have to do the Flashpoint thing so many fucking times. Like, since 2000, I think they've done it, like, six or seven times. It's like, if you include, like, like the actual live, like CW live-action yeah. show, if you count the animated it's movie, you count uh, the Flash. actual Flash movie, um, you know, this thing. I I'm sure I'm missing, like, one or two somewhere else. It's just... 
can you are, are there really no other flash stories to tell it's their bread and butter like that's they're afraid to tell their stories i think that's the idea like oh like, we did well with this let's keep doing it you like, know that's all. is there no other flash story to tell i no. mean there's some i i like some of the the <laughs> I don't know. There's some out there stories, I guess, but reverse flash stuff, I guess, more. But... Well, reverse flash is in the flashpoint, right? So yeah, yeah, I know. It was me, Barry. I mean, the problem with flash is that you always get into these time travel things anyway with him. So they're all going to be like that anyway. That's just the best of them. That story. It's mm. pathetic yeah. and yeah. sad. Anything yeah, else? That's it. Yep. Mike. I didn't catch anything this this time. All right, I um I watched uh, Furiosa. Finally got cool. all that done. Uh, nice. Very good movie. Um, I I, I, I there's a, the ending like the way the movie ended like I, I immediately was like this reminds me of another movie I watched and I'm like I don't know exactly what that is. It's not a Mad Max movie. It just reminded me of it and I'm like why does this feel like a different movie at the end? Um, just the way it ended. Hmm. Uh, but I you know I. I enjoyed uh, the story quite a bit. I think I, I actually like this story better than the the latest Mad Max movie. Like I felt like this was a really good. I liked it, and uh, I thought it was uh, obviously it's a great world. You know, post apocalyptic world that's a lot of a lot of depth you can have with different characters. There's a lot of, mm-hmm. and I and I I thought it was over the top and and great. Uh, it reminded me of a little bit like the um, Sin City a little bit and the uh, uh, mm-hmm. those kind of movies. That's what it reminded me of, like those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not. To compare, that's like, not really a good sell, funny. man. No, I'm saying like the feel, the vibe of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like the vibe. Okay. I'm not saying the story they told. I'm talking like the way, just kind of the vibe of it. Like the way it, it's got a little bit over a supernatural kind of stuff to it. You know, so it's like, you know, mm. you get a little bit like that. And I think the cinematography felt a little bit like that too. I don't know why, but that's that, at the end. I felt like that's what it was. Um, you know, like Grindhouse and uh, there's other ones too. Like a couple of those movies that are just, uh, they're just quirky. But it's good. I, I enjoyed it. I understand why it's on, uh, you know, a lot of people's top movies. It underperformed like crazy and it has killed the franchise. Yeah. Uh, but um, it's a shame because it was a very good film. And obviously budgets are out of control. You know, mm-hmm. we've got things that are just they got to rein it back in. And and either that or I don't know what, how you fix it, because inflation based stuff just with salaries, you have to increase salaries, too. You know what I mean? Like, you, and you can't go backwards. Like, you can't say, "Hey, we can't pay this actor fourteen million dollars next time. We got to pay him like nine. Uh, but how do you go backwards to that? You know, it's like you go backwards in payments. This is that's a recession. So we have to figure out another way around things. You know, and I don't know what that is. I'm not an economist. Mm. But I, I just know that these budgets are out of control. We have issues across the board with it, and issues across the. We're going to cover this a little bit with gaming. Uh, <clears throat> cost cost of everything is insane, and you know, and it can't yeah. give us thirty dollars movie tickets, right? We can't pay thirty dollars movie tickets, so no. I don't know. I mean, it is kind of crazy too, because like I think they broke down, um, like what Robert Downey's getting straight up like a hundred million for mm-hmm. Avengers, yeah, right? Doom, yeah, yeah, for Doom, Doom, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, that's like half the budget of most <laughs> big budget triple A, you know, popcorn yeah, action I, movie stuff. I'm just like, how do you even? You know, let's say that it even, you know, it does like three billion or something, right? When it comes out, I'm just like, how do you still profit off of that? Like, I guess it's merchandise. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, it's yeah, wild, the unknown, you know? the unknown profits, the merchandising and stuff you get, toy sales mm-hmm. stuff like that too. So yeah. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. But that's it. Really, it for me. I've watched. I wanted to sit down and start the. I have to start over on the, the Rings of Power. I want to watch the Rings of Power, and like, I went to pick it up i was like four episodes in on the first season and i was like i don't really remember at this point what where it was so i started that over um just refreshing me even though they give you the recap i'm like i gotta refresh this because i heard like i want to watch it i want to watch season two so that's on my list next you know what's crazy is cobra kai i i want to watch it but i just want to wait you yeah, know what i mean like i just want to wait yeah. yeah that's it so it's like i i like no knock on that series whatsoever but i don't have a desire no, we to can knock it. It. I mean, it's just yeah. it's it's time for for that to move on yeah desperately all right guys uh what do we got here box office stuff uh anything cool in the box office world today? Beetlejuice. Sorry. oh yeah beetlejuice did great uh i didn't even open it right now hang on let me get the box office mojo yeah. open here um i know that was it opened one over 100 week. i mean opened yeah. up what 111 i think 111 last weekend uh 100 million dollar budget i believe for this film right mm-hmm. it's that 180 or 200 world oh no it's a 300 worldwide right am i wrong 
Let me look at that. Why don't you just go to this website? Oh, one, no, it's at 180 worldwide, I read, but it's at 153 on Box Office Mojo, so maybe that was an overestimate. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's going to make its money back. Very good for them. I mean, it's not going to, like, do gangbusters and set off records and stuff like that, but it's very impressive. That's fine. Really. That's fine. You can just be a profitable movie. Like, that's, the, only... that's the key takeaway here, and we'll get to that later, dollars. especially in the game cast. Yeah. But... I know. Right. $100 million for a budget these days, I think, is, is it sounds high, but it's not anymore, and I think that's a good budget. But it's the third movie this year to break a hundred opening weekend, which is, you know, great for it. Like the only Inside Out and Deadpool were higher grossing than that opening yeah. weekend. So yeah. that's all. That's amazing. Like this is another example of a movie nobody asked for, or didn't realize yeah. maybe they wanted. I, mean, I was skeptical. I was like, really, like Beetlejuice? <laughs> yeah. After like yeah. thirty years, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like you know, it's the whole Top Gun Maverick thing here. It's we're just gonna get more of them. It is. Uh, it was be fair, people Oscar were time, people were actively asking for this for a while. There was rumors going around for uh, for like a decade that they were trying to do this. And people were like, oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. There was a little under yeah, yeah. I mean, like th hype for this. They had the Broadway thing for Beetlejuice as well, which mm -hmm. did well from my understanding. So yeah, I mean, okay, it's not like not. It, it's not nobody, but like. You'd be. I, I'm surprised that there's a large enough like base where it's like, yeah, let's let's go ahead with this. It's like, really, like, it's... Mm -hmm. and with the like, and with the majority of the actors from the original too. Like, that's the other yeah. thing that's pretty surprising and welcome, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's but good, you know, good, good, good for everybody involved. involved. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, yeah. Box office and... seven million was Deadpool Wolverine, the next closest from 211. So, um, cool, good for them though. All right. Uh, in the news, we've got a couple things going on. Let's let's tackle the Beyond the Spider Verse news. Uh, so earlier this week, uh, yeah, yesterday actually, it was uh, it was leaked that the film was uh, apparently Sony was reportedly scrapped most of Beyond the Spider Verse for creative reasons. Film is unlikely to release before 2027, and the reason I mean this this picked up traction like a lot of traction. That's why we're reporting it. Um, however, it has been since debunked by not only the composer Dan Pemberton, uh, Pemberton the composer of the movie, uh, but also, um, uh, what's his name, Chris Miller, uh, the you know director, I believe, right? It's Chris, Chris Miller. Miller, Phil Lord. Yeah. 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 So uh, he, he said that uh, nothing has been scrapped. The reels are coming along nicely. And the, the, the composer said, you know, be careful what you read on the internet. Most, it, it cannot be, you know, things are not true. Uh, so... Yeah, looks like we're okay, folks, for those freaking out. If you read that, I don't know that that rumor caught wildfire. It did. And that's why I'm like, like why would like you'd have to have some right, some source that it's if you were that confident to report yeah. on. Yeah. The other thing that's concerning to me is like the voice actors haven't done anything. It sounds like they've not done anything for this film. Uh, no, not yet. I don't even know this is an actual script yet. Like they're doing. Which like, it doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> you would have thought that they had this all mapped out already. And yeah, ready I mean, to go. It seems like they're working on that, and while they're doing that, the last thing. movie was half a story. Yeah, that's the thing. You got to have a part two, yeah, and let's... like, they're doing like apparently they're they're animating a lot of it, but they're you know building the story while they're doing it too. That's what it sounds like. So interesting. Yeah, I mean. It just kind of makes me mad because I recently uh, rewatched Across Spider Verse, and I think, you know, it, it's it's a good movie, it's a great movie, even. But the more I think about it, like I'm just so unhappy with the way they ended it, and the fact that you know we're not seeing it for it seems like a bare minimum of three years, despite what they're I, saying. Yeah, I mean, 2027. It, it. I mean, hopefully, but if we hear a delay, I mean, is it a delay? They never announced it officially, I guess. Right. But, no, um, exactly. I, so I don't know. It just makes me a little, yeah, a little bitter, a little, little wondering. Yeah, what's going on? Mm. Um, we can stick with Spider Man, I guess. So Spider Man Four. Uh, the director for what is it? Uh, Shang Chi, right? That's who. Mm -hmm. That's who's got it. Yes, Daniel Cretton. Mm -hmm. Uh, Destin Daniel Cretton. Sorry. Uh, that's his, that's his full name, but uh, he uh, apparently has signed on to do Spider-Man Four, and that was exclusive from Hollywood Reporter. I've seen this reported everywhere that this is a, like this is happening. So, um, very good. 
like I think that's awesome. Like we got great action sequences from him. I I am excited to see what he can bring to the Spider-Man world in terms of just web swinging and stuff like that through the city. Like think of how good that's going to cinematography wise. I got. Yeah, I, I think mean, his I'm still impressed with that uh, the opening sequence with the bus on uh, Shang Chi, uh, and really all the choreography with the uh, the martial arts and stuff like that. So you you know taking a character like yeah. Spider Man who can be really yeah. limitless in yeah. in that kind of setting. Obviously, yeah. there's there's more to the team than just him. Yeah, 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 obviously. But he's got pretty good vision. You know what I'm saying? Like I think I think Shang- there's nothing wrong with Shang Chi. It was a great film that hasn't yet to get a sequel, and. I think he did great for the story that they had as well. And like you said, those sequences, the action sequences were incredible. Uh, I thought, I thought they were for a Marvel movie. They were really good. Yeah. Uh, So I'm excited. for Are you going to expect more live action, like fight sequences in this, even though it's Spider-Man because of this? Yeah, I think, I think so. I think we get more, um, more hand. -hand. I, I think you do. I think you do. Then less CG you're saying, like less computer stuff? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, Spider-Man action sequences, since Spider-Man 2, it's been like, all right, just, this is a video game now, basically. So, it would be I mean, interesting. It's more about the creative aspect of the fight sequence, I think, is where I'm, where I'm excited to see where they take it. Just, yeah, that's, I think, more what this guy can bring. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Other news. Emmys. The Emmys happened. Um, Blue Eye Samurai. I put it on here just to remind me. Mm. Uh, won Best Animated Series. It, it beat out X-Men 97, folks. Probably the rightful decision. The right decision, actually, here. Because that, that, I could see, it's a great anime. It's, it was fantastic. I'm happy to see it win. I would have liked X-Men to win this because I felt like that was great. But, uh. uh yeah, was, I mean, which, it was, it was, was it, it was one impressive. particular episode that it got nominated for, though? Um, yeah, yeah, I forget what the I didn't pull for that Blue Eyed Samurai or for X Men. Both. I mean, X Men oh, we both. know which yeah, episode. I think that yeah, X Men we know. They, I was just they, curious. They, they um, nominate a episode usually. Yeah, they do usually episodes. Uh, you know what's funny about this is I think like, um, what was it the Shogun series won like mm-hmm. oh broke records. Yeah. It broke records and for for one like the most ever for an episode for for for, for a season actually of a show um so it, it it's impressive for that show i'm i understand why we're getting a, uh, another season of that like you have mm-hmm. you have to follow it up i hope it's good what they bring us but yeah but blue eye samurai excited for a second season of that you know that's that's exciting um and now and they got an emmy you know yeah it's awesome. good for them i mean i love x-men 97 but sure yeah nothing not to take anything away from that but right. like this was it was up against it's up against some pretty go- good competition you know yeah, what I mean? Like, sure. there's good stuff out there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Netflix did pretty well in general. Yeah, they did. They did. So, that's weird. Hmm. They're not really. That's weird. Real, though. No. Nothing to watch. Uh, yeah. Great, great catalog. So, all right. Uh, what else? What else? We've got, um, sad news. Sad news yesterday. Kate broke. James Earl Jones, obvious actor who. Was in Field of Dreams, you know. If you don't know James Earl Jones, you're, I don't know where you are. Uh, but voice Darth Vader, I mean, th- he's the voice of Darth Vader like forever. And mm-hmm. uh, Mufasa. unfortunately, Mufasa. passed away. Pa- and Mufasa passed away at, at 93. Mm-hmm. I mean, he had a hell of a, a, a run there. Um, he was still doing voice work mm-hmm. like yeah. about two years ago. Yeah, um, if you actually remember, he gave them permission to AI his voice going forward as Vader. Yes. Yep. So, <sighs> I don't know, man. That's we'll see how that goes, I guess. But like, I'm not gonna he blame him. He wanted that to happen. No, no, I'm yeah, not gonna blame him because he was cause... cool of it when he was around. So, well, sure, sure, well, absolutely. Does but his I mean, family get like, yeah, I, I guarantee you he did sure. it for you know, so his family can get residuals and all that stuff. But it just feels weird. It's like, yeah, just use my voice forever and ever. It's like, all right. I mean, we all know Star Wars fans are the pickiest pieces of shit on. The planet, it is. So. It is one of the most easiest sort of to fake, though. That's I the thing. That is the thing. Like, like how many video games, other animations, really. etc., use like it's a lot a... of distortion. Right. Mm-hmm. So I get it, but at the, on the same hand, like the other hand is like, was this necessary? But you know, yeah. whatever. Star Wars fans can't take well, change, so. 
I will say, uh, what's that mic going? I mean, if it's kind of what he wanted, it looks fine with me. I, I, I will say tying this in today with what I just read is Disney's being sued uh, by the uh, Peter Cushing's representative's family mm -hmm. for his use in Grand, as Grand Moff Tarkin in Rogue One. Uh, that was today. They oh, filed a lawsuit against was, Disney. Why now? Yeah. What happened? This whole <clears throat> they used his likeness. They super, yeah. This is one of the first cases of them superimposing a dead actor. Um, right. I guess with the new agreement they have, they have some more ammo for that. Is that what that how that works? But that was from like 2016. You know, that's a long. Right. Like, it you takes a while to. You know, it takes a while to. Eight years. I, guess. I don't, I don't know. It's a I don't know. Dude. I mean. I, if they, if they I remember it being a thing when it came out, too. Like, I thought that there well, was no, some I big remember everyone sort of assumed this was all cleared with the family and everything at the time. Yeah. Maybe was, it wasn't. If it like, wasn't, like, then, then they have a legitimate that, right. That's the, that's the other reason we have actor strikes and stuff, because uh, at that time, it was very murky with what was allowed, like, who has rights to a character, and is that character's likeness me? What does that mean? And yeah. So it's like, can you animate? Is, can you be goofy like what is, what is it all like legality wise it's so you know, they needed to hash that out with all the ai and technology and stuff coming out you gotta protect your your likeness i don't think at that time it was probably a lot looser as far as what was you know allowed and I not mean, i do wonder like there's depictions before ai of people like <laughs> comic books like for example like in the after the fall comics i read the continuation of angel those characters obviously mm -hmm. are designed to look like actual actors and i don't think the actors even know about that like what is the legality there it's so it's i just wonder are these old laws new laws <clears throat> well, that's what i'm saying it's murky because form? like this was well, when right so here's the, the article I mean, it was the... never a thing much before which is interesting well, it changes it's when you're happening. actually resurrecting people in a live-action well, film. That's the interesting part. Is not does this open up? Does this open up problems if they win this? Because look what DC just did. With the Absolutely, Flash. they should fucking yeah. win this. And if you're on the other side of that, like I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. That's fucking like, is, weird as shit. I'm just saying, how how bad is this for Warner Brothers? As we just watched a movie where Nicolas Cage said, "I don't know what they just showed. I don't know anything about that." Yeah, when they put him in the movie. Right, because like, it, otherwise, problem. it's it, yeah. they just have access to your likeness forever, literally forever. Right. Like that's I mean, not cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. Like I believe they didn't consult with Christopher Reeve, Christopher Reeve's family before that too. So it's like you're you when this I lawsuit think, goes through. Yeah, that's is, I think door. since Rogue One, I think it's been a lot been on a lot more. I think it started it, like you guys said. But, yeah. So I, yeah. I if if and I guess you can't put it past them, but if Warner Brothers did not consult some of these actors who are not alive currently that's just messed up didn't even consult nicholas cage who is alive well like no they him. did they he filmed he stuff for them the but they, they just changed what he was doing oh, which yeah, that's, that's true they right his thing was what, what whatever you saw in the movie was not what i filmed you know? yeah like that's what he said that's why I, I thought they took that as like footage that he had originally filmed they were trying to use and they that's what they, no, they, I mean, they where he worked with them he's just he was like uh probably would have looked better if it was what he was actually filming mm -hmm. yeah. he just so. looked completely fabricated um I mean, <laughs> and that um, was a choice what was the article telling what was it that you saw oh it said that uh one of the actors close friends said that he didn't want anyone using his likeness peter cushing yes yeah, yeah. i think i remember that i think when this first came out that was something that came up Right, and it's also uh, the subsidiary Lucasfilm, you know, because they have the rights for Star Wars and stuff like that, uh, and the agency that represented the actor. Um, so, again, you know, it's a lot yeah. of hands in the pot, and, you know, it's just messy. Interesting. We'll see how it goes. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be figure interesting. figure they probably just get away with it and deal with it as it comes, yep. but yeah. now they got to pay up. Yeah. You're right. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have. There's nothing else really. Oh, well, there's the, the there's the other uh, death that you mentioned too, which the um, the guy who did Master Splinter originally. Oh yeah, Master Splinter. He today he just passed away, right? Well, I mean, it was probably yesterday, but we just found out about it today. He was uh, he was 89, and he was also he's he was a voice actor for other stuff. He was obviously um, you know Peter Peter Renaday, the original yes. the voice for Master Splinter from the original 
yep. Turtles cartoon. Cartoons, yeah. yeah. And yep. 89 or Passed whatever. Away. Whatever that was. Uh, yeah, so he was in other stuff. I, he, I, I mentioned Angel. He was actually in an episode or two or Angel as a disembodied mm. voice, I remember. I looked that mm. up and being... It's like, oh, that's Splinter. Cool. I knew it sounded <laughs> familiar. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Another one. We lost. Yeah. Another voice gone. Yeah. R.I.P. I do want to take a shot at the Joker sequel and how it's doing poorly in the critics. Because go for it. Movies. Five, no, it's like way now. before it's released. I'm I'm surprised mm -hmm. they're getting screenings this early. I think they're. I think they I probably think were confident. confident. Yeah. 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 I think they're confident anyways. I don't think they're gonna. I I think they're confident in ticket sales for this film for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't think they worry about critic reviews. Fuck it. What is Joker about? Yeah, I don't. I don't think they. Honestly, we'll see. But I, I don't think it's going to well, affect their tickets. You're the, you, you were the one higher on this. I, think. I am higher on this, and I'm staying. I'm staying with it. It's I, obviously I'm not changing, but I, I don't think that matters. I don't. We'll see. No, no yeah, um, we'll find out. Yeah, we will find out soon. So, <clears throat> all right, that's going to do it. I think for this episode. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned for the Gamecast coming up next. Uh, once again, we're live on Twitch Tuesday nights, eight o'clock. Uh, if you don't see these live broadcasts, you can pop over to YouTube. All of our stuff's there. Subscribe so you get notified when we go live. We'll see you over on the Gamecast. We are out.